So the Brioni Eau de Parfum line has been rapidly expanding. These are all fantastic for the price. A lot of these hover around 70-ish dollars or so at discounters. Actually, for a while, you were able to get the Eau de Parfum Intense. This one for as low as like 55. Sold out really quick on Joma Shop, but that was a deal that I uh, did discover, posted about it out to my mailing list. So if you're on my mailing list, you were able to get one of these at a dirt cheap cost, relatively speaking, of course. So great line that's reasonably priced, great quality scents, and they all bring something new to the table. And they're showing no signs of stopping either because now in 2023, we've got another new one, Eau de Parfum Essentiel. The notes do look interesting. I'm excited to check it out. So we're gonna open it up together and I'm gonna tell you how it is. Sharp looking bottle, just like all of them. Uh, these are custom presentation, at least to the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen any other bottles like this. So that is always a plus. Uh, these do all come with magnetic caps, um, but it looks nice, you know. Essentiel has a nice green pigment to it. I think my guess is that this is going to be perfect for what we have left of spring. And hopefully it'll work good here in summertime because we're pretty much there anyway, uh, at least looking at the uh, temperatures going forward. I guess spring isn't really a thing anymore here. So we'll see how it is. Um, hopefully I can get some wearing and testing on it um, aside from this little first impressions, but that's nice. Has a, um, oh, that is really, really good actually. Uh, it's got a, no surprise, kind of a green apple kind of sour kick. And then after that initial first smell where I picked up on that, then I was kind of already getting some, some sweet kind of uh, creaminess, like a little bit of a smokiness to some extent, I guess is in a roundabout way when I'm trying to work myself back to. A little bit smoky, a little bit green, um, ever so slightly earthy. That kind of goes hand in hand with the green accords I'm picking up on. But this is really, really good. Super unique. And uh, I can already tell you, at least off the first impressions here, it doesn't really smell like any of the others. So it doesn't have that violet leaf heavy uh, approach of the original. It doesn't have all of the bright citruses of Eclat. And it doesn't have the oud kind of sweetness going on from the Eau de Parfum Intense. It's in its own world here with the unique kind of take that I just haven't really smelled before. And again, it's kind of hard for me to describe, but uh, you know, it's something different in a very interesting way. And it just has me intrigued. I have to pull up these notes again. Up top, we have tomato, uh, bergamot, and cardamom. In the mid, we have patchouli and tonka bean. In the base, we have frankincense, sandalwood, and ambergris. So what do I get out of these notes? Well, for sure, um, the kind of frankincense, like I was saying, that kind of had a little bit of a smoky, sweet kind of resinous feel. Um, in terms of the top notes, um, I kind of picked up on like a green sour apple, but that just doesn't seem to be listed here. Uh, the bergamot tomato combination, I guess, could be coming into play. To me, it would be more of like a tomato leaf type of deal uh, is kind of what I would get. But above and beyond, um, the, the creamy sweetness is coming through now more than ever. It's that patchouli kind of, which is also adding to the green, mixing with the frankincense, even the tonka bean sandalwood. There's a nice smooth, kind of heavy, um, very silky type of base to this one that is just done in a different way. Uh, the ambergris, or more so ambroxan, is also playing a pretty heavy role here, just kind of giving it that sweet, kind of uh, ambery, um, slightly salty type of smell. You know, you know an ambergris or an ambroxan. It's a little bit bright, it's a little bit sweet, has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but then also a little bit of a saltiness as well, depending on the compound and variety. It's kind of what this one has going on. But I love this, guys. This is the perfect example of a designer brand doing something different. So I can tell you right now, you know, if you have been a bit underwhelmed by new releases this year, 
check this one out. Uh, I don't think you will be let down if you are after something new, because again, to me, it doesn't smell like anything else. So with that eau de parfum concentration, you're getting something that's sitting pretty strong on the skin here. Nothing overbearing, nothing too strong, but also nothing that's super weak and uh, shy either. You know, it's just kind of in the middle doing its own thing. You know, I think it's for the confident guy who doesn't want to project super far, but also doesn't want something that's super reserved either. At least that's how it's coming off on skin right now. That's subject to change, but uh, just off the first impressions, that's kind of where it's at. Um, but that opening though, that opening really gets you in the best way. That nice bergamot, kind of uh, cardamom combo, a little bit spicy, kind of uh, a citric sour kick. Um, you know, it, it's unique. And I think that this can go really far if you are looking for something that is going to set you apart from everyone else. And that's the thing about it. You know, you got to keep in mind, this is going to smell different. You know, people aren't going to be used to smelling this on you. So you want to make sure that you are aware of what you're getting yourself into from a mass appeal standpoint. I'm not saying that you're not going to get any compliments when wearing this. That's not what I mean. But when you compare it to the other blues and aquatics and freshies and citrus scents or just the sweet uh, variety or genre in general, it, it's not those. So this is something that I think really is going to set you apart, but for the good. Also, I do think the bottle is very fitting for the scent overall, that kind of kind of, I don't know, pale greenish kind of tone to it. Uh, it very much matches the scent of this kind of, again, to me, I hate to say it, but this kind of green apple smell mixed with this incense or frankincense kind of ambery resinous, slight smokiness, a little bit wispy, uh, creamy from the sandalwood, super unique combo from opening to dry down here so far. I think it's great and I'm excited about this. You know, being that so far, uh, all of them that I've tried, the three have been amazing. I figured I would like this. I didn't think they were going to go ahead and mess it up here. But I think this is miles ahead of a lot of the others and from a uniqueness standpoint. And again, I love the other ones, but this is truly next level. Really cool stuff. Very interesting. It's going to be more niche, not going to be for everybody. But I think for the people who do like this, you'll really like it a lot. I think this will be a 10 out of 10 for a lot of people or, you know, for some, maybe just a 5 out of 10 kind of bleh thing, you know. But uh, this to me is really cool, very unique and interesting and a change of pace for sure. This very well might make it in the top five for sure of my favorite releases this year. And we'll see how the rest of the year plays out. But this might even make it in the top three. Very cool, awesome stuff. Brioni Eau de Parfum Essentiel. Uh, if you guys have had a chance to try this, let me know what you think. Retail only right now. You got to pay it for it. I think I paid north of $140 when it was all said and done, but uh, that's worth every penny to me. This is awesome. Links will be down below. Deals will be going out to my mailing list. Anytime something rare, discontinued, or hard to find comes into stock, I send out an email. Anytime a brand new scent shows up on discounters, I send out an email. So I take all the hard work, all of the guesswork out of it for you guys. And each time something of importance and a great deal comes up, something rare, I send it directly to your inbox. So all you have to do is click and purchase if you so choose. So make sure you get on that list. It's completely free to sign up. It's a great tool you don't want to miss out on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.